Welcome! In this example, I'm going to show you how to find the slope of a line using just a couple of points. So here I have a couple of points which I will use for my example. And in addition, I'm going to use the slope formula. If you've never seen this before, here's how it works. On top of the slope formula, you have the two y coordinates subtracted from one another. So this looks like y2 minus y1. On the bottom of the fraction in the slope formula, you have the x coordinates subtracted from one another. So this is x2 minus x1. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give us the change in the rise over the change in the run. Let's see specifically how this works. So when I go to use these two points, it's probably a real good idea to label these as say point number one and point number two. This will keep them straight when I'm using the formula. Alright, now let's plug everything in. So for those y coordinates, and specifically y2, I'm going to take the y coordinate of point number 2. There's that 7. Subtract, and this will be the y coordinate of point 1. Watch your signs. This involves subtraction, and if it's already negative, you'll end up subtracting a negative. All right, on the bottom, same thing. So x-coordinate of the second point minus x-coordinate of the first point, the 5. All right, so it looks pretty good. And from here, all you really have to do is simplify. If you see these double negative signs, remember that they become plus. And see, let's see, 7 plus 3 is 10, all over negative 1 minus 5, so minus 6. Okay. Now, keep going until this fraction is simplified as much as possible. So I'm going to reduce this into 5 thirds and just put the negative sign out front. So the slope of the line between these two points is a negative 5 thirds. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.